So you guys are looking for some gold and treasure in Red Dead Redemption 2. Well, I got just the thing for you guys. Today, I'm going to show you guys some locations where you can get gold instantly without having to do all that treasure hunting or side missions and whatnot. You can be able to go to these spots and just get what you need. So before we get into that, guys, drop a like down on the video at any point if this is helpful to you guys or if you enjoy it. And comment down below how much money you guys currently have in Red Dead without cheating. Other than that, guys, subscribe to the channel for more content, and let's get right on into the video. Alright, guys, so the first location is right here in Lipany, right to the south of Valentine. You're going to want to go to Valentine or Flat Next Station, anywhere near there, and come to this little town right here. Alright? Now, once you're here, you want to go to the Sheriff's Office. There's a little, little surprise for us in there. If you go to the little desk right here that's all burnt down, you're going to go to this chest right here you'll find under the desk. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. You guys are going to see what's in here. So, boom, right there, guys. You got a gold bar, as we were looking for, and a horse stimulant pamphlet. So, go ahead and grab both of those, and that is it for this box. That's one gold bar just like that instantly. You don't have to do no long mission or quest. You just come here and grab it. So, super, super easy. Now, quick thing. This is also the location where you guys can get the exclusive treasure map if you guys pre-ordered the special edition or the ultimate edition of Red Dead. And basically what you do is you just go right into this little jail cell. And on the left side, you should see a guy laying here. And he will have a map right to the left of him. Now, unfortunately, I did not pre-order it. But if you guys did, you can come in here and do that. So I just want to let you guys know that real quick. But let's move on to the second location. All right, so we made it to the second location, guys. Let me show you exactly where it's at. It's right here to the right of Granite Pass, if I zoom out for you guys. Uh, to the north of Valentine, it should be pretty easy to find right by this bridge. When you guys get here, you'll see some, you know, old rusty train carts, blown up trains. You're going to want to go to the one that is leaning against the mountain. Now, there's a very easy way to get in here. Um, I did a much difficult way when I first uh, tried to get this, but I figured out a better way, and I'm going to show you guys. So, the only way to get in the train cart is from up top. You can't hop in this little window right here. Let me show you. Like, you just, there's no way. So, if you come right over here, you see this little pathway right here. All you gotta do is run up to it quick as you can and spam your jump button just like this. Let me show you guys. And just jump on up. Now, there's a second part. You gotta do the same exact thing. So, run up and then spam your jump right here to the side. And you should climb up right there. After that, you have this little gap you gotta jump. Same thing. Just run. Jump. Grab onto it. You you chilling, boy. And here you go. You gotta jump right into the cart. Well, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> okay, let me get back up there. All right, redo. So once you're up here, run, jump. Okay. Okay, and then run and jump. All right, I'm in. Wait, no, what are you doing? All right, we're good. We're fine. Now, once you're in here... You should see a chest right here, and there's gold bars all over the ground. Two of them, to be exact. So pick up both of these gold bars, boys. There you go. And you also got some Valerian root. Go ahead and grab that as well. And aged pirate rum. All kinds of loot down here. So grab that. Take this right here. Another gold bar. Boom. So that's two gold bars. We got one from the other location. So that's three so far. Now, once you're done, literally just jump out this little window. Uh, there we go. And also, while you're here, there's also another chest in this card over here. Um, so, might as well grab that. Might as well grab that. Take your time, unlike me. You know, I'm very impatient. So, come in here, and it should be right here to the left, this big old chest. Let's open it up, and I'll show you guys what's in here as well. Come on, baby, give us the loot. Boom. So, you got a billfold. Uh, you get about, let's see, 20 bucks, not bad. And you got the large jewelry bag, which sell for... I think either $25 or $50, not too sure, I don't remember, in a coin sack, which is probably just like a dollar. Oh, 14, what the, that's a lot for a coin sack. So, this location is pretty, pretty good, you get a lot of loot from this. We got two gold bars, jewelry sack, and 20 bucks plus the 14, not bad, not bad, and a gold bar from the first location. So, let's go on over to the third location to get you guys even more gold. Alright guys, so we're here at the third location, a location some of you guys may have seen in my most recent gold videos. Let me go and show you guys on the map where we have to go. It's here at Braithwaite Manor. Let me zoom out. Now you come down here to the south. Once you're here, you're going to go in there and there should be a box of loot. But before that, 
keep in mind that you have to be in chapter four or past chapter four for this to work. Uh, but the other ones you can do at any point. You can do that at any chapter. But this one you have to be at least in chapter four. So you're going to come on here to the left side. And there's going to be a chest right here. So let's open up that chest and this is what the goods are. What the, what the heck, boys? Oh, there we go. There we go. So let's open this up and see what's in it for us. Come on, come on. Boom, another gold bar that makes four gold bars instantly. You don't have to do no side quest missions for like an hour or some treasure hunting for like an hour. You literally just ride to these locations, put on auto run, and you're good to go. Now, before you leave, make sure you also loot this body. There's a little uh, piece of jewelry on here that you can donate to your camp. Holy crap, that scared me. That was like an evil laugh. Good job. Keep in mind, there is guards around here, so uh, yeah, watch out for them. Oh, a little witness, huh? I don't think so. Get this, go to sleep, boy. Is he dead? Oh, what the? Get the heck off me. Nah, nah, little Jimmy. Oh, you. There you go. Nah, nah. Am I sorry? Am I sorry? Are you sorry, bud? That's the question. Hey, what are you doing in my house? Nah, nah. And we got one more. Ah, oh, little Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Pleasure you can make it. So, anyways, that is the third location. We got four gold bars so far and some decent other loot like jewelry, money, and whatnot. So, let's head over to another loot location and uh, see what we got. All right, guys. We're here at the last and final location. Let me show you guys where it is at on the map. Right up here to the north side of the map uh, above Grizzlies East. So, once you guys get here... You're going to see this little shack and this guy who seems to uh gotten killed. I did not do that. He was here. Not really sure what happened to him. But, um, yeah, he, he's not looking too good. So let's go into his shack. Looks like this place got raided or something. There's another dead body. I don't know what happened here. And there's a uh, another weapon on the ground. But right here is what we're here for. A nice little loot box. Let's try to open this up. And inside you got some jewelry. Oh, a gold nugget. A platinum pocket watch and some jewelry on top of that so it's not bad this little loot right here now there's no gold bars here but this is still a pretty decent loot spot being as you just have to walk in there and loot it um i'm pretty curious as why somebody came here killed these guys but didn't take the valuables anyways hey more for us but that is it for this locations but there is one more thing i wanted to show you guys since we're in the area um, some of you may have seen it, but there's actually the Witch's Cauldron right down the road. Really close. So I'm going to ride over there and show you guys that real quick for the people that haven't seen it. Might as well since we're so close. So guys, here we are at the Witch's Cauldron. A pretty, pretty cool spot. You can come in there and check it out. There's a bunch of other stuff. I already looted this place a while ago, but there's a chest in here with extra loot as well. A whole bunch of random stuff in here you can go around and grab. And on top of all the loot that is around here... There's also this little cauldron that does some weird, weird stuff. You got bones all over all these witches stuff. A whole bunch of weird stuff here, but you can go ahead and drink this. Oh, wait, what? That is not what I wanted to grab. You can go ahead and drink this. Oh, I guess I already drank it, but... Well, if you guys drink it, a little something weird is going to happen. You guys can check out. But I just want to show you this cute, uh, cool little spot since we're close by anyway, so... Other than that, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you guys got some nice gold out of it. If it was helpful, drop a like down the video and comment down below what other stuff you guys want me to check out. Red Dead Online should be here soon, so I'm super pumped for that. And, of course, subscribe That's to the cool, channel, girl. and I'll see you guys next time for a brand new video.